Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and today we are reporting live from my living room, and we are going to be really quick because we're on commercial break from Survivor. I turned the TV off, so I didn't get weird colors on my face, and there's not much that I used this month. So let's talk about empties. I finished up the Avalon Organics Nourishing Lavender Bath and Shower Gel. Lavender is one of those scents that can either be so dreamy and wonderful, or it can start to smell a little strange. This started to smell a little strange kind of floral but kind of like a wet dog i don't know how to explain it so it was good body wash wise but the scent kind of got to me so i won't be repurchasing this we have two natural deodorants i'm completely getting rid of for good we have the alba botanica clear deodorant in lavender now this one actually smells nice but this does nothing for me i smell disgusting quickly I'm a sweaty, stinky girl, in case we haven't established that. Now we have the Jason, Jason, the Jason's Nourishing Apricot Pure Natural Deodorant Stick. Also, does absolutely nothing for me. Just stink right through this. So, getting rid of both of those. A couple face masks. The Ellen Tracy Night Repair Revitalizing Face Mask. This one feels really nice. This one is actually incredibly moist. So there's a lot of product left over after the 20, 30 minutes you wear it. So you can really rub it in and get the benefits of that. I like that. And then the Beauty Concepts Make Me Over Revitalizing Facial Mask. This was a drier mask, actually. Um, it had enough to kind of feel like you were getting something out of it, but after the 20 minutes, this was like bone dry. My face soaked everything up. And then I also did a Biore nose strip. I'm working my way through all of my cheat masks, nose strips, everything like that. And then once it's all gone, I'm only replenishing with good, natural, vegan brands. So I'm really trying to push towards it. And then I'm getting rid of the Julie G Nail Color. This is one of the gumdrop polishes in hot cinnamon. This one got very thick and is not usable. It just doesn't dry well. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that. I finished the Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which I love this lip balm, but I don't believe Dior is cruelty free. No idea if this is vegan or not. It took me so long to get through this. Like these really last you on. I cleaned it out. The smell is just the perfect rose scent. It's a really nice smell, but not repurchasing that because I have found the best lip balm in the world. The Soothing Touch Vanilla Chai Lip Balm made with organic cacao and shea butters or cocoa, whatever. And it's vegan. I got this at Mom's Organics and they actually sell them by the 12 pack on Amazon. So I'm gonna buy like a 12 pack of these because this is the best lip balm I've ever used. It is the only lip balm I will ever use for the rest of my life until it is either no longer made or I croak. So love this. I cannot recommend it highly enough. I'm not one to say holy grail because I feel like that's just kind of cheesy, but this holy grail product. And then another of my favorite products that I finished, the three in one formula remove plus from Zoya. And I'm going to keep this container. I've already repurchased one of the big refill containers. I'm just going to fill this up and keep using the cute little pump. So that is actually all of my empties. I'm sure you hear a weird noise in the background. The cat is playing with like her little thing that has the ball that spins. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. And then right next to that, below the video, is the bell button you can hit if you want to be notified every time I post a video. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!